Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com, and today I'm going to talk about the merits of using a toned canvas. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. So what does that mean, a toned canvas? Well, all that means is using something other than pure white to make your paintings on top of. And let me show you a simple situation where it would be useful. Here I have a rendered ball. But if I wanted to add a highlight to that ball, I'd have trouble because the white of the page is as bright as it's going to get. And already the white of the page is being used to describe the half tone of this ball. Well, if instead of painting on top of white, the entire canvas were a bit darker, then adding a little highlight on top of that would very quickly give me that glossy three-dimensional look. So what this means is I'm taking advantage of that medium tone of the background and using that as sort of the half tone of my rendering. So then I can add darker paint to make the shadow and lighter paint to make the highlight. But I don't have to spend all that extra time painting in the medium value. Whereas if I started with the white, I can't get any brighter than this. We're already at the maximum value. So let's take a look at this practical example. Here's a normal looking sketch. It could have been a digital sketch or a sketch in a sketchbook. And I have it on the white of the page. Well, if I wanted to add some shading information to this, it would take a while to make the whole thing darker and then bring back the highlights like I did in the last example. Whereas instead, I could put that on top of a toned canvas and then add a few highlights and a few tones. And then much more quickly, I come to this more full value range. That's how you're going to show form through having dark darks and light lights. So really, if you start in the middle, you don't have to draw as much. It's sort of a shortcut. And this is not limited to digital either. You might have seen people using toned canvas sketch paper or even sketchbooks. And these are great. This way you can bring with you both a darker pencil as well as a white pencil, and you can achieve the same exact look on the go. And in that way, it really makes your sketches come to a more full rendered look much more quickly. And the same idea also applies to traditional painting. It can be really common to lay down a toned ground on the blank white canvas before you do any of the actual painting. Once again, same idea. Start from a mid-tone and you'll have less work to do. And finally, if you're doing a lot of digital work, the white of the canvas is actually kind of hard to look at. I sit in front of monitors almost all day long, and these days I really don't like having a full white canvas. It's just sort of hard in the eyes. So a lot of times I'll start with at least a light gray, just so I don't get as much eye strain. So it's got some practical applications as well. But whatever your reason, try out using a toned canvas. You might enjoy it. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.